Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a real pair and a fake pair of Converse All-Star in the low variant and point out the major differences between the two pairs so that hopefully when you're looking to purchase a pair yourself you're able to spot these differences and avoid buying a fake pair. On that note, let's start the video. So firstly, let's start with the boxes. The real box is the one at the top and the fake box is the one at the bottom. And what you'll notice is that both of the boxes are a completely different design. So real pairs used to come in a box similar to this design here with the, uh, with the stripe going through, but the text here would also be on the top of the, the box here. And it would also be a similar size to this box that the real pair come in here, which is the new variation of the box that has been brought out in more recent times. So if you get a pair come in a box that is this design at the bottom, obviously without the Converse Circle logo and this version of the logo on top instead. It could mean that they are still a real pair, but the box would be a more similar size to this box at the top here, rather than the really small size that you can see on this one here. Also, on any real box, whether it's this newer design or the older design, you will always have a size label on the side of the box. So you can just see that in the far right here, covered slightly by the store label but something similar to this label here will always be present on the box. As you can see on the fake pair, there's no size label at all on the box anywhere to be seen. Just the, uh, just the normal design with nothing else on it. So that's something else to look out for. When actually opening the box itself on any real pairs, the shoe will be uh, wrapped in some paper, but there won't be any other packaging in there. So. As you can see the real pairs here are surrounded just solely by this paper on its own and there's nothing else in the box. However, on many fake pairs as well as this pair that I have here, you can see that there is not just roll, there is also a plastic bag and a paper on there that has the Converse printing on it. So this is a big giveaway for fake pairs. So no real pair will have, as far as I'm aware, a plastic bag around it at any time so that's a real telltale sign especially with the size label on it and also the paper that would be present in any other box would be plain but on the fake pair you can see it has this converse print all over it so that's another telltale sign that they're actually a fake pair just coming back to the box quickly something else that's worth pointing out is that if you buy a pair and they come in an old design box uh, open up the uh, lid of the box and look inside to this part of the box here. If they're a real pair, they will have a printing of each Converse logo going across this. So if it's plain or it has anything else other than that, like this does with a barcode type thing there, then they're fake basically. So any old design box that, that's for a real pair will have each uh, Converse logo printed across this part. So something else worth looking out for there. If you have the old style box come with a pair that you bought. Getting on to the actual shoes themselves with the real pair here on the left and the fake pair here on the right. One of the first things you'll notice is this tag. So any real pair that's been bought from the shop doesn't have this tag on. So if you see pairs online or, or wherever you're buying them from with this tag on, uh, assume straight away that they're a fake pair. Something else that you can see quite clearly here is the uh, difference in the color of the insoles. So I know this isn't something that you'll be able to use for every colorway of the shoe, but definitely for the white pairs um, and some of the other lighter pairs that have this insole, you can see that the uh, insole is a sort of yellow color, whereas on the fake pair, it's it's more of a white to, to gray sort of color. Uh, I also know that the logos are different there, but the newer pair with the writing in this sort of format did also used to come with the writing here with the uh, star in the O. So that's not something that you can definitely say you have a fake pair in your hand because they have this design, because this design did actually used to be in the older versions of the real shoes. So the insole is the main thing to look out for here, the color of it, because you can see just how far off that is. So yeah, real big giveaway there. While we're looking at the inside of the shoes, another real big giveaway on the fake pairs is the size label. So. Real pair on the left still, fake pair on the right. If we look at the two size labels here, you'll see that the real pair has a barcode on the bottom right, which isn't present on the fake pair. So 
that's the real thing to look for on the size label. Obviously the converse text on the fake pair is something again that used to be present on the real pairs, so not wor not to worry about that. But the barcode is a real big giveaway and if that's not present, then they're definitely a fake pair of converse. Getting back to the outside of the shoe, something else that's uh, worth looking at straight away is the uh, converse logo on the tongue of the shoe. So on the real pair on the left side here, you can see that it's uh, really clear, really well stitched and no blurriness to it at all. Whereas the fake ones, there's little gaps in between the letters. The stitching isn't done very well. It's a, a slight off colour as well on, on the bit around the outside, a little bit off white. Whereas the one here is a very similar to the colour on the rest of the shoe. So if you've got them in your hands, you can tell the difference when looking at those there. Also the toe bumper that's present on every uh, Converse All-Star seems to be a little bit different to me on the fake pair compared to the real pair. So on the real pair here on the left you can see that it's very symmetrical, no no real issue there with the red line with uh, it hanging over the edge or anything. Um, whereas when I get the fake pair next to it here, you can see that straight away it's not symmetrical, there's a little little bump here in the line where it moves around. Also, little bits of paint going over the edge there, which I haven't seen on any of the real pairs. So that's something to look out for. Also, just the shape of it in general, to me, it looks a little bit more narrow, uh, a little bit longer and, and pointier than, than the real pair on the left. So that's something to look out for when, when checking if a pair is real or fake also. Also, I know I already mentioned the red paint when I was talking about the toe, but something that I missed was that you can see on the fake one here, the red line doesn't meet up and there's a real difference in the crossover part there, so it's not symmetrical. This would probably be the case on a lot of the fake ones, but as you can see on any real pair, the line always runs around the whole way smoothly. Maybe around the toe you get a slight bit just where it bumps up over this bit of material, but only ever so slightly and it still carries on straight and symmetrically. So that would be something to look out for on any pairs uh, to check whether they are real or fake. Something else I just noticed as well when looking at the paint there is that on the real pair, if you look at them really closely, just underneath the red line, going into the bottom of the cell, there's a small checkered pattern going through the bottom where the blue line is. And that runs all the way around the sole, except from on the heel, and for, except from the toe bumper. So you can just see that pattern there if I get really close. But on the fake pair, there's none of that. It's just uh, smooth the whole way around. And I assume that would be the same on a lot of the other fake pairs. So just a close up there for each one, real on the left, fake on the right. You can just see ever so slightly that checkered pattern there, which isn't present on the fake one. Moving on to the soles of the shoe, there's one thing that you'll see on every real pair that you won't see on any fake pairs, none that I've seen so far anyway. So on the sole you can just see there's a dot in line with where the toe bumper comes to an end. And that is on both shoes on the outer side. So on the right real shoe, it's just there in line with the bumper. And on the real left shoe, just in line on the outside of the sole again. And uh, the fake pairs here, you can see that that isn't present on either one. So if I just put two of those side by side, real one on the left here, fake one on the right, you can see no dot on the fake one, dot just there on the real one. So yeah, this is something that would be really good to check if you have the shoes in front of you. Uh, understand it might be a little bit trickier if you're looking at a pair online but it's a clear giveaway because I haven't seen this on any fake pairs uh, so far that I've looked at. If we take a look at the heels of the shoe also, if I just take one from either side, you will see that the Converse logo is again present on the back and this will be very square and even as it is on the real one here but on the fake one this can be a little bit off so 
This one here isn't square at all. You can see it just coming away from the sole. It's not level. Again, the text isn't something to worry about with the Converse logo because some of the older versions of the real pair did have the O with the star inside. So not to worry about that. It's more just the alignment and the shape of it. So completely squared off on the heel on the real one and really clearly off on the fake one there. So that could also be another giveaway for you as to whether a pair is uh, real or fake. One final thing I notice on the shoes is that the toe bumper goes around a little bit further on the real pair than it does on the fake pair. So if I pull those up together, you can see that the real pair has the toe bumper carrying on just past the eyelet here. So that's a good marker to look out for. It's gone just past that first eyelet. Uh, look at the fake pair. It's come up really short. So just before the eyelet there. So this is a clear thing that you can look for. You can see the difference of, of how far off they are on the fakes. And I suppose it could also be the same that they might go a lot further past on some fake pairs. And you could look out for that also. But just keep in mind that on the real pairs, they tend to end just in line with the end of the first eyelet. So that's something to, to line it up to. And if it's anything different to that, like it is on this fake pair here, then they're probably fake. So real pair, just going past the first eyelet. Fake pair, really short, coming up in line with maybe the front or the middle of the eyelet. So that is the final thing that I would say to look out for on any fake pairs. So thanks for watching. And as you can see from the video, there are lots of things to look out for on a fake pair compared to the real pair. If you do still have a pair and you're unable to authenticate them, then get in touch via the link in the description and I'll do my best to get back to you. If you could also please like and subscribe, uh, that would help me a lot as it allows me to make more videos like this and it also helps to grow the channel. Thanks again for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.